What's going on guys? It's Majestic Pie. Welcome to Fixing Shinies, a series where I take shiny Pokemon forms and change them around to make them look better or make them look like they make more sense. Please keep in mind that these are based solely on my opinion and you may think otherwise. With that, let's get started. Okay, moving in on number one is Gyarados. So, normally Gyarados is blue, and then its stomach is like a yellow, and then instead of the blue for the shiny Gyarados, it's red. So, the first thing that I did to adjust the shiny is I changed the blue to this gold color. So, it kind of represents more of what the shiny Magikarp looked like, rather than switching to the red color that Magikarp originally is to kind of keep with the whole gold magic art theme so i'm kind of going with a gold gyarados and then for its stomach and all that i just dropped the color just a little bit on its stomach made it a little darker the fins i changed from that same tan color made those white instead and then the horn i made more of a gold color instead of the blue so that's what I did with Gyarados. On to number two is for alligator. So for alligators, regularly this blue color, and then it has the red fins or spikes coming up out of its back and on its tail. And then its stomach and under its mouth is this tan color. While it's shiny, just becomes like a blue green kind of color. And then the fins are a blue color. So what I did was I changed the blue to this black color to sort of match the color of like an alligator or a crocodile a little bit because some of them are a black color. And then its stomach and like under its mouth is darker tan, almost a brown kind of color. And then the fins I just dropped to a little darker red. And then I changed its eye to like this dark piercing red. So, that's what I did with for alligator. Moving on to number three is Gardevoir. So Gardevoir is normally this green color, and then it has like this white kind of dress looking thing, and then two reddish pink horns that stick out from its front and its back. And then shiny just replaces the green with the blue, and then the horns are like this orange color. So what I did was I replaced the green with a pink since in Generation 6 it was introduced as a fairy type along with its psychic type. And then the horns, since they kind of go as the same color as the pink, wanted to make them stand out a little bit. So then I made them this darker red color as well as its eye so it stands out that much more as well and then I decided not to change the dress color because I think it looked better I couldn't really think of any other color to go with the pink that wasn't really pink or something like that so I just left it white coming in at number four is Yon Mega so Yon Mega is normally this green and red dragonfly and then it has these gray feet and gray spines that stick up and then it's shiny is blue and then its eyes and its wings and the spots on it are pink so what I did first was I changed the green to a red color so now with this the spots and its wings and its eyes don't really stand out that much like they did in its regular form or what they do in its shiny. So to fix that, what I did was I changed all the red spots in the eyes and the red on its wings to this more dramatic blue that is on its shiny. So then it really stands out and it looks a lot better. I think at least, I think the red and the blue go together pretty well. So that's what I did with Yon Mega. 
All right, on for number five is Bisharp. So Bisharp was kind of difficult to implement, but I kind of had a theme going, and that was a United States Army general, because for whatever reason, Bisharp makes me think of someone in the military. I don't know why, but it just does. So it's regularly this red color, and it's got like these steel kind of glove things, and then the yellow axe that's coming out of its head. So what I did was I changed the red to this green color to kind of go with like the, the army kind of color. And then I changed like all the gray to a little darker, sort of like a really dark gray, almost black kind of color to contrast just a little bit more from the green. And then for all the metal, I changed that to more of like yellowish kind of color that's more so in its original shiny form. I thought it just went a little bit better with the green compared to the standout white that its gloves and its feet are. I didn't change the axe. I thought it ended up looking pretty good with the green and the black. So I didn't really think it was necessary to change it. So I didn't. But that's what I did with Fish Arp. Okay, number six is Heliolisk. So Heliolisk is normally this yellow color for most of its body. And then it's gray for its head and its feet and then the tip of its tail. And then a little bit of orange sprinkled in on its legs and on its neck. And then its shiny changes the yellow to this red and then the orange changes to yellow. And its face doesn't really change that much. So what I did was for its head and the tip of its tail for that gray color, I changed it to this dramatic standout blue that's kind of dark. It looks a little weird against the yellow and the orange. So what I did was for the rest of its body, I changed the orange that was sprinkled around its body to a dark gray and then the rest of its body was more of this white. The theme I was kind of going with here was a solar panel because the little spike things that are coming out of its collar actually extend out. So it kind of reminded me of like a solar panel kind of thing that, that it uses to discharge electricity but it can like spread it out instead to absorb energy I guess and produce electricity so that's kind of the theme I was going with with Heliolisk was to make a solar panel so I don't know I think it turned out pretty good but yeah that's that's what I did with Heliolisk and finally coming in at number seven is Komala so Kamala is this cute little koala Pokemon that's blue for its body, a little bit of like this tan kind of color for its ears, and then gray for its nose and its hands and feet. And then it's a brown log. And then for its shiny, it's all the same colors, except the only thing that changes is the log. It's pink and white. That didn't really make too much sense to me. I thought it was kind of weird that the actual Pokemon doesn't change whenever it's not shiny, but the object it's holding changes. I thought that was odd, so I changed that around. To replace the blue on Komala, I changed it to a gray to make it seem more like a koala, because the blue was kind of weird. It's a little unnatural, I guess, for a koala. So. To match it, what I did with its face and its ears and stuff, I changed the ears from like that tan peach kind of color, changed that to a white, and then the little tufts on its face I just lightened up a little bit as well as its tail in, into that white color. And then I did the same exact thing and changed its stomach from that gray color and made it a little bit lighter, a little closer to white. I didn't change the log because as I explained before, it was kind of weird that the object it's holding was changing. So that's why I didn't do anything with the log. That's what I did with Kamala. Alright, that's it for this episode of Fixing Shinies. 
If you liked the video, make sure to hit that thumbs up and leave a comment. If you guys have any suggestions or ways I can improve with the shiny adjustments that I do, please leave a comment. And who knows, maybe I'll cover it in a future video or do a video from your suggestions. Don't forget to subscribe to get notifications about future videos and help support the channel. There will be more content to come, so see you guys next time.